welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today I'll be showing our friends at FaveHealthyRecipes.com how to make a copycat version of Ruby Tuesday's Chicken and Mushroom Alfredo. In their dish, tender linguine is tossed with sautéed mushrooms, green peas, and a rich Parmesan cream sauce, making it one of the tastiest chicken dishes around. The problem comes in when you discover that their version weighs in at 1,253 calories. In this version, we'll slash the calories by using less of the Parmesan cream sauce and pasta while using more mushrooms and peas so that we'll still be able to enjoy an indulgent dish while maintaining a healthy diet. I'm going to give you the ingredients to make this for two, but you can double or triple the recipe as needed. Alright, to make this you'll need 8 ounces of boneless skinless chicken breast cut into bite-sized pieces, and you'll want to stir that together with some garlic powder, dried thyme, and salt and pepper to taste. One tablespoon of olive oil, six ounces of gluten-free linguine. Now I didn't have any linguine, so I used spaghetti, but you could use fettuccine, or you could even use a short pasta if you want. Eight ounces of sliced mushrooms, one half cup of frozen peas, one quarter cup of grated cheese, one quarter cup of half and half, and some coarsely ground black pepper. Okay, once you have all of your ingredients prepped, to make the pasta, put a pot of salted water on the stove to bring to a boil. And once it reaches a boil, add the pasta and give it a stir, and then begin the sauce. In a large, non-stick saute pan over a medium-high heat, add the olive oil and seasoned chicken to the pan, and saute for three to four minutes, stirring frequently until the chicken is no longer pink. Add the mushrooms to the pan and saute for another minute before adding the peas. And continue to saute for an additional two minutes. When the pasta is one minute shy of the package instructions, drain it and add it to the pan along with about a quarter cup of the pasta cooking liquid. And simmer for one to two minutes so that the pasta can absorb the flavors of the pan. Now if you want to slash the calories in the dish even further, you could actually eat this just as it is and have a perfect meal. But we're making an Alfredo copycat here. So add the half and half and cheese mixture, then stir until every strand of pasta is well coated with the creamy sauce, and the dish is ready to serve. Now I've plated less than half of what was in the skillet, and this dish is about 500 calories less than its cousin at Ruby Tuesdays. The key here is not to drown the dish in the calorie-dense sauce. When you make stuff at home, it's easy to change the ratios in a recipe to better fit with your healthy lifestyle. And if you don't like an ingredient, say, like the mushrooms, you could always substitute another veggie like broccoli or asparagus or whatever else you like. So I hope you'll give this a try. And if you'd like to see this recipe in print, you could always visit my blog. And for more free recipes and tips to fit into your healthy lifestyle, visit my friends at FaveHealthyRecipes.com. See you again soon.